and welcome to the Open Book Channel. My name is Lady Valheim, your designated open book. I think it might maybe be considered cheating that I'm making my newbie booktuber tag video so late in my channel's creation or existence. Um, I've been putting content commentary videos up about books and back then I mostly reviewed movies for three years now. And I told myself I'd be disqualified in abusing the tag system if I'd been doing YouTube too long or had too many subs by the time that I did this tag. But um, all that time and I still haven't broken 100 subscribers. So I'm really just hoping this could help me out with that, meet new people, and finally get over that hump that I've been straddling for years now. <laughs> so here I go. Hi. My name is Lady Valheim. I'm a self-published writer and a freelancer in editing and book cover design, and here's my answers to the booktube newbie questions. Question 1. Why did I start this channel? I started my channel originally because, well, <laughs> if we're being honest, uh, I went through a pretty monumental life change. I moved, I was leaving my first relationship, very lonely and not sure what to do with myself. I didn't have a job. I was kind of a mess. <laughs> So I was hoping that starting a booktube commentary channel would help me form some better, healthier connections in my life. And like I said, I've been on here a couple years now and nobody knows who I am still, but I have managed to make a handful of connections with other writers that really inspire me. So that's nice. And I want to make even more connections going forward, of course. Question 2. What are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? I'd have to say that honesty is my defining feature when it comes to booktube specifically. It might seem weird to people if I said my authenticity because I use a VTuber, but, but that's just my appearance, that's not my personality. I'm not a ravenous consumer of books or other media. I let things sit with me and I do not do hype. I can be excited about something, but I have a physical incapacity to speculate on things that I haven't actually had any experience with. You'll never get an anticipated reads video or a book haul video from me. I just don't find that content valuable and I want to provide value to those that watch me, which is why my content has now also shifted a bit to more informative videos about the process of being a self-published writer. And that was a bit more of a sales pitch than I intended, but I couldn't think of anything else to say. I feel like I just answered a question for an interview. I've got a fair bit of quirks, but I keep most of that silliness to my gaming channel. Should I have just said that I'm a VTuber and that makes me different on booktube? Mmm, probably. <laughs> question 3. What am I most excited about for my channel? I am excited to have discussions. I love getting comments on my commentary videos. The ones that I get the most interesting responses for are my comparison videos, and I can't produce those types of videos as consistently as I'd like to, but I really like getting to hear other people's opinions on them. It's like the effort that I put into making the videos comes back to me in people and opinions that I get on it afterwards. Aside from, like, intellectual joining of the minds, though, oh my god, I can't wait. For the day that my videos are good enough or popular enough for people, more people to watch them and for me to get funny comments. People are so witty when they write comments on other content creators channels. I love reading them and I hope that I can be cool enough someday to get those kinds of interactions. Question 4. Why do you love reading? I love the depth of immersion that you get with reading. There are so many things that can interrupt your experience with movies, from the cinematography to the acting. When you're looking at an image, you have that image, right? Like, you can't argue with it. It is, it's in its purest essence, a visualization of the story and you don't get to interpret that. With books and reading, it's more about your capacity to imagine. And you know, if you're reading something unlike anything you've ever experienced before, as you read, the information transposits itself onto your visualization and it's just continuously enhancing. So what I'm trying to say is that it's a lot harder to break my immersion when I'm reading than when I'm watching something. Question 5. What book or series got you into reading? The book, the one and only book, that uh, made me want to be, well, not only book, <laughs> that made me want to be a writer and tell my own story was Raven's Quest. When I read it for the first time in middle school, it totally shook me. I wept for a character that I loved that died, I rooted for the protagonist, and I had no idea where the narrative was going, so I was always engaged and excited to keep reading. 
I'm actually not huge into anthropomorphic literature. Like, I tried reading the Warrior series as a kid, but it just didn't do it for me. Raven's Quest was just kind of a one-off in that regard. My love for Raven's Quest didn't send me down a path of active reading, though, unfortunately. The books that I had to read for school made me really uninspired. I wanted to be a writer, but I thought Raven's Quest was a fluke. So it wasn't until I was an adult that I became an active reader and actively wrote my own stuff, too. Question six. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Hmm. Well, my favorite booktubers are a mixed bag. I really like personality booktubers that review books based on their unapologetic taste, and I enjoy analytical booktubers that always try to bring a larger discussion to the table. And I would ask totally different questions to each of them. <laughs> I guess I'd ask how they regard their videos in terms of professionalism. Like, I feel like booktube is a niche that thrives on casual content. As much as you could put a whole lot of effort into your video, the consumption of booktube is usually casual, like hanging out with your tea, here to get some opinions and not get too charged up in controversy or anything, even if you vehemently disagree with someone else's take on a book. So more specifically for the personality booktubers, I'd want to know if at any point do they take their channel seriously more like a job or is it always going to be a fun hobby, even after reaching monetization and all that? And how do they rein themselves in on that expectation, like keep themselves grounded? Because I have the exact opposite problem of vlog style creators. I'm super small, but I treat everything that I do way too seriously and I could use some advice on not doing that. <laughs> Question seven, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Well, I already experienced this and the answer is aesthetics. I couldn't settle on a style for my videos, mostly because I wasn't comfortable filming myself for them. It was a long, tedious process finding my aesthetic and I'm fairly comfortable with it now. My greatest challenge from this point forward is going to be getting views. Anybody ever seeing me? I'm not overly confident that I think everyone should love my content or anything, but I put visible effort in and I think I'm an okay person that provides okay content to viewers, so it feels a little uneven just how invisible I feel on here. I don't know. Maybe I do suck, but um, part of it feels like I'm doing something inherently wrong on the back end and no one is being shown my videos for them to have a chance in the first place. Who knows? I guess we'll see if this tag helps out. I hope. <laughs> Please, YouTube gods. Question eight. When did you start reading? Well, I went to school majoring in English in university, so I've always read, you know, but um, school reading burned me out and I never read for my own enjoyment until I was a young adult a couple years out of university. The first reading challenge that I did on Goodreads was in 2018, so let's go with that as our marker. It's crazy to think that for how much I've loved storytelling and wanted to be a writer growing up, I didn't actually start reading until five years ago. Kind of sad, but we all start our journey in different places, right? Question nine, where do you read? I usually read in bed, sometimes on the couch, and even more rarely on long car trips. It's 80% bed reading because I adore blankets <laughs> and being cozy. Who doesn't? Uh, I would like to read in the car more when I'm on road trips, but where I'm from, they're so bumpy that I can't focus on the text if I'm trying to read in the passenger seat. So I just got to shrug that one off and <laughs> take the L. Question 10. What kind of books do I like to read? Uh, I like to read a lot of genres, but when it comes to fiction, I lean towards horror or thriller. Bonus points if they have supernatural elements involved. But I also enjoy the occasional nonfiction memoir or a bit of literary fiction. When I get a bit burnt out on one end of the spectrum, I just go to the other and refresh. And last question, 11. What does your book collection look like? And my book collection is so sad. <laughs> I don't have a bookshelf or room for one, and I primarily get my books electronically from my library, so all my physical books are in a crate under my desk. But don't worry, they'll have a good home someday when, if, I can ever afford a house. Here's hoping this booktube channel kicks off and helps me out with that, eh? It'll be like a self-serving cycle. My booktube channel could facilitate my ability to have a bookshelf so I can be a better booktuber. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So yeah. Those are my answers for the newbie booktuber tag. 
I tag anyone else, but everyone that I know and actively kind of talk to on here, as few as they are, um, they've already done this. So if you found this and you're new and we don't know each other, consider yourself tagged. That's kind of what I did for myself. <laughs> I hope my answers were interesting and that you learned a little about me and maybe that you'll be willing to stick around and subscribe for more content. Thanks for visiting my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.